The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos is an animated series. I've written all the episodes. It's something we're gonna do that's a little bit different at DC. Hey everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Why Are You Still Here? Um, and today we're going to have just a, a brief moment where we're going to talk about some news that dropped, Lucas. Uh, yeah, and for the first time it happened earlier in the morning. Right. Yeah. And, what, on, a, yeah. <laughs> and on a Tuesday. Right on a Tuesday. Not a and, Wednesday and Thursday like it always is. Correct. Anyway. And then by the time we talk about it, it's like it's, it's old a week news later. At no that one gives point. a shit. So this is all still brand new. Um, obviously, we have talked about James Gunn before in a video. You could go check that out. James Gunn released his official slate of movies and TV shows today. Um, and there was like an announcement, like a formal announcement that was written out. But there was also a video of James Gunn talking for like five or six minutes. And uh, what a punchable face. <laughs> But anyway, um, other than that, though, he kept like laughing too. He'd be like, oh, "A fantastic and got, story!" And we got this one. I can one tell you about right now. This project. Yeah, I appreciate you like, watching. What are you like this excited with whatever you're doing well, here? Because now it's he's not untouchable, good. and he's ruined everybody's, um, everybody else's franchise contribution, and uh, he is a narcissistic man who gets great pleasure he's probably getting off in that interview yeah no that's probably what that sound is next up is the big one uh? so uh yeah so this this dropped and um it's it's not the full slate of chapter one it's like part one of chapter one and it consists of 10 different projects and it's the subtitle of it is gods and monsters which nothing inherently wrong with that um do you remember when it was just a theory in our previous video where i said like he fired henry cavill but there's a rumor that he's keeping all his own stuff he's keeping all his own stuff i figured as much officially so anything that he personally has done so peacemaker in the suicide squad that all seems to be canon in this new uh this new slate so he talks about how there's going to be like an amanda waller tv show uh, who cares uh and that the team peacemaker is going to be a part of it and that it's going to take place between season one and season two of peacemaker now i like peacemaker i don't like the fact that you're keeping only your own stuff though and it's just to put it bluntly his wife is in peacemaker so it's a rob zombie situation Yes. I mean, she's a much okay. better actress. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> much better. But like, she's like legitimately good. But still, you see her pop up in something and you're like, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're keeping that. Um, So most of these projects are terrible. The two that stuck out to me the, the most is, um, oh, God. First off, let me say that they're going the cheap route with a lot of these, a lot of like mm. really unknown characters. Forget what David Zaslov said, that they're going to focus on the Trinity. Like they, we're going to be really focusing on the Trinity, you know, Batman, <laughs> Superman, Wonder Woman, <clears throat> because they're doing something called Creature Commandos. Sounds like a B movie from the 60s. Yeah, I don't know what that I don't I, I don't know what it is. There was like a photo that was shown and I'm like, I don't know what this is. And if you don't know what it is, then that's a bad sign. <laughs> Basically. Uh yes. I'm not like the the most Eden comic book fan, but I'm also much more than the casual fan. So yeah, I've never yeah. heard of it. It's gonna be a TV show. Um, it's gonna be an animated TV show, in fact. Um, and they're like casting the voice actors for these TV shows that are going to be the same actors for the movies. Um, there's a movie that's going to be coming out called The Authority, which is like a group of superheroes, not 
again, no known superheroes, just randos. Uh, the authority, which is like people that think the world is broken, so they must fix it. Keep in mind, this is the start of their universe. The start of the DC universe. Have you heard anything yet that strikes you as DC? I mean, technically, yes. You, you know, but... you know what this this sounds like. This sounds like bankrupt Warner Brothers who can't even put a movie in theaters, trying to get away with the cheapest thing possible. And honestly, ding, they're not ding, doing ding, themselves ding. any favors. And Dude, if Warner Brothers doesn't do something, I don't know what royalties they have from their properties or like I know that like like for example, Harry Potter World Land whatever you want to call it is at Universal. So like mm-hmm. I don't know how those things work, but with how fucking good Universal is as we've been saying for the last 2 years, like is Warner Brothers just going to go under? Are they going to be one of the major studios to just die off? Because that's, when that's I the when you showed that screen cap of their of their debt, I I didn't know it was that massive. I'm happy like, that, that you is, noticed that. I was like be, fifty billion dollars, I think. Oh my god, <clears throat> yeah. dude! Like that's that's crazy. Like for example, yeah. like uh, I know it's sort of unrelated, but like Sony, if they didn't have PlayStation, did you know that they would they would go under? I'm not surprised. I mean, they so used to have the James Bond IP, and they they either sold that or lost that. Well, just even that, like uh, so. their electronics from back in the day, like you just don't see Sony electronics as much as you used to. So I I don't know where Warner Brothers is at, but this these properties that you're mentioning, I, I have no interest. And DC was the one that I want to watch. So mm. I again, like so I said, they're that. alienating the most casual of casuals. So where are you going to go from here? They're alienating I, more hardcore fans too. Um, so, it, it like again, I don't know what Creature Commandos or the Authority is. I've never heard of it. Um, <clears throat> so you have that. You have um, a Batman movie that is going to be coming out. It yeah, is, just a Batman movie, not a sequel to the Batman, but yo, it's a Batman movie. Well, the, the separate side of that is the batman is officially a a trilogy it's going to get two more movies that's disconnected okay um that's looked at as like um uh, he said the word of it it's not it's not black else worlds um i was going to say black label but they're like else world stories which that kind of thing will continue it's it's unrelated um but there will be a batman movie it's an older batman just like Ben Affleck. Um, okay. And yeah. he's... That's fine. He's going to have his son with him, Damian Wayne, which it, he is a Robin. That's all fine. But again, I'm going to jump back and I sound like a broken a brec- a record. I sound like a broken record at this point, but, but why not keep Ben Affleck? If you're going to have an older Batman and just introduce Damian Wayne into it. Well, you know, you know? know why? Because Warner Brothers can't afford to pay Ben Affleck. You're, you are correct. You are correct. Um, the Superman movie is called Superman oh God, Legacy. Who's going to be Superman? Well, nobody knows. Okay. That, that hasn't been announced yet. Um, and it's not coming out until 2025. Probably oh, late so 2025. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't get delayed, which it probably will. Mm-hmm. And so it's going to it's going to be somebody that they're paying, you know, pennies. Peanuts. to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a movie that is like a. Um, uh, it was called Paradise Lost. It's going to be on Themyscira, which is Wonder Woman's, you know, home island. And it's going to be like this massive, like prequel to Wonder Woman ever existing or whatever. I. I could not care less. Oh God! Are we gonna get? Are we gonna um, get um, Baby Wonder Woman in place of Baby Leia? We're running around. Oh, this we kind of had Baby Wonder Woman actually, and okay, um, in both of the Wonder Woman movies, there's like, you know, flashbacks, and you'll see like a young Wonder Woman. <clears throat> Again, obviously, this is just the cheap route. Um, it does sadden me deeply though that they are keeping certain aspects. Like, for instance, James Gunn's family and friends, you know, like I joked about before that people are calling it the James Gunn family and friends mm-hmm. universe. 
Um, so that is confirmed, um, essentially. Viola Davis is gonna team up with members of Team Peacemaker. And uh, I don't know, we're just gonna have uh, some stuff saying the same, other stuff being swapped out with worse versions probably. And um, and yeah, so that that's really all. There's a Swamp Thing movie, which that's fine. Um, and there's probably a couple other things that I'm I'm missing just because I didn't really care. But that's essentially the news that's going to unfold. Uh, How disappointing! Uh, I agree. It's, it's like exactly. Honestly, it, I think it's worse than what I thought because I just thought of him taking the properties and making his own twisted version for his own sadistic pleasure. But this is just nothing. That's it's no nothing. Name, nothing. Yeah, it is. It's nothing. Um absolutely wow. nothing and Talk it's just a big old nothing burger this first chapter is called gods and monsters i can't wait for people to see it it's a very a phrase, disappointing right? And it's like people thought that they were going to jump right into the Trinity because, you know, you have to prove to us that recasting these characters is important. And we're not even going to know until we're already waist deep into this. So this sucks. <laughs> and there is no news uh, for anybody wondering. There is no news um, on like what they're going to do with Aquaman or Wonder Woman specifically, like if those are going to be the same actors or not. Uh, the Flash was uh, mentioned just in passing, which is something I'll I'll mention in conclusion here, because I did say, you know, I'm negative a lot, but I am going to force myself to be positive for a second here. And what I will say um, on a positive note is that first off, James Gunn said he's like, me and Peter got really lucky with the four films that are coming up, you know. And then he explained that these movies are still going to be connected to they're still leading towards that new universe. I do like that. Um, I do like that. I, I, I don't feel like I'm just watching these movies and, you know, and feeling completely hopeless about it. You know what I mean? I don't mm -hmm. feel like oh, maybe I shouldn't even go see them because what's the point? They're never going to continue like that kind of thing. So it did it did take that away a little bit from me. He claims that, you know, like Shazam has is disconnected. It's always been disconnected, even though secretly uh, both movies are in the DCEU. That's all I'm saying. So I don't know how they're going to change that, but we'll see. Um, he said that the Flash is going to reboot into this new universe apparently following that is blue beetle which is a movie that has been you know i know that you're probably thinking like blue beetle that sounds like something james gunn came up with himself it's not this it was, parody this was of before he this is before he took over um so it, it it was already written filmed you know whatever before james gunn was even a thought on their minds and that is still at least up until this point, was a part of the DCEU. Uh, and then the final movie of this year is Aquaman 2. So if they're rebooting everything with The Flash, then Jason Momoa must still be at Aquaman, right? And Gal Gadot is in The Flash. So, and so is Ben Affleck. So, <laughs> so it's possible that literally the only person, because again, Henry Cavill did have a cameo in The Flash yeah. that they removed. He was the only person they removed from that movie. So does that mean this whole universe uh -oh. is exactly the same except for Henry Cavill? Because if that's the case, James Gunn disgusts me so much more than I even thought. You know what I'm saying? Move on like, away, Chris Zephyr. I want to go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it, it uh, whatever, uh, I'm trying to be positive here. Um, and so I, I like that they're bringing in Robin. Of course, we haven't seen a live action Robin since 1997, and that was not done well. Yep. Um, so as long as they do it well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I'm, I'm, I'm a too. bit excited for it. 
Robin is supposed to be a kid. They've never done that on screen, probably because it's takes so much longer to film with kids and you know what not like what do you do you know when they have to go to school and they can only work for you know like, like four five hours. hour periods that are broken up and or whatever in a day it might be five hours i really don't know it's not a lot though um so robin they make him a 35 year old man with chris o'donnell usually and in kind of robin with joseph gordon levitt um in the dark knight rises but we're not mm-hmm. really going to include that and then batman v superman you see a robin suit that has been spray painted with ha 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 um which you know so there was a robin in that universe he seems to be dead like why you sent a boy wonder to do a man's job whatever um so i'm excited to see robin i'm not super psyched by the fact that it's damian wayne but still it's still robin so you do that well at least that's one thing i'll like about it and again i do like that it somehow you know because always i cut myself off almost james gunn did say that aquaman 2 uh flows right into the new universe so and then into Aquaman 2, which leads directly into our next few projects. All right. Well, we can try to have okay. some hope, but uh, I don't know. yes, I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing really else to say about it, but I, I did want to talk about that since that info did drop. And um, I don't know. So obviously, you know how I feel about it. I have not been uh, secretive about that whatsoever. And now I'm just confused. Before I was angry, now I'm just confused. You're you going to go through all these stages, the stages of grief, but in this case, the stages. Of the now there's TV confusion. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also, there's going to be a Green Lanterns TV show, I guess, with Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. That's fine. Um, you know, if there's anything else that I missed saying, it's, it's simply just because I thought either it was fine or it wasn't worth mentioning. You know, I mentioned the this stuff that I thought was worth mentioning. Wait, the show where we complain about franchises. And- <laughs> yes, yes, that's going to be the new tagline. But um, ultimately, once again, you know how I feel about it. You seem to know probably how Lucas feels about it. We're both confused and... and and disturbed you left me in a black hole of rage and confusion and ridiculous and just when i was starting to get just, like really excited about watching these movies that came out five years ago they pull this shit on me <laughs> yes yes the dceu has Seriously. been going on for 10 years uh I know, so I, started in 2013 <laughs> But oh, uh, yeah, you can still be excited about those. At least they're uh, they're connected to each other for the most part. And I know. And now you know, that and, since we're and by the way, since this video should be out before our 2022 film ranking. Mm-hmm. Definitely go watch that. Be. And then after since this is finally over, uh, there's a couple more bad movies I have to watch. And then I can finally watch Zack Snyder cut. Oh, Yes. Because yeah. I, honestly, I, I had to get this stuff done first. That's the only reason oh, why I haven't course, watched it yet. Of course. I'm sure you figured that. But, yes. Um, yes, indeed. So yes. ultimately, at the end of the day, what do you guys think about this out there? Do you do you think all of this sounds great? I mean, if I you don't do, know if anybody's going to say that. If comment do, below fine. and try to sell I'm actually happy for it. you because I... I want because I want to think like you do, but I one hundred percent, yeah. So if you think that, let us know. <laughs> um, or yes. if you think like us, also let us know. Just just comment below your your thoughts and feelings, and and we'll try to get through this together. But uh, that's really it. James Gunn's a hack. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>